So I'm in Swindon today and I thought while I'll here I'd come along and look at this new charging hub and make a quick video about the EV charging in Swindon because here we've got a new BridSurf charging hub opened. So Swindon's not doing particularly well on EV charging. If you go on ZapMap, initially it looks like they're doing great. There's loads of chargers, but the majority are AC destination charging, which of course we need that. We need lots of those, but we also need DC rapid charging. So if you filter out the AC charging, there's not too many DC rapid charging sites and the majority of them are only one charger. There's a few with two, but I don't think until this place is opened, I don't think there's any with any sites with more than two chargers. So this new grid surf hub is next to a Pure Gym here and Dobby's Garden Centre. And grid surf have got an arrangement now with Dobby's and they're going to roll out chargers at 30 of their sites across the UK. Gridsurf do it really well with a good mix of charging speeds and connector types. So over there are two high speed chargers, they're 175 kilowatt. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five ABB chargers, all dual headed as well. So in total, there are eight CCS charging points that are 120 kilowatt two CCS charging points which are 175 kilowatt which are those two taller machines over there at the side there are three Chadamo charging connectors and two AC type 2 22 kilowatt so they've got the right sort of mix of connectors we've got contactless RFID cards here and the price is 69 pence kilowatt hour and it's good to see the paint on the ground so they don't get iced and then there's two wider bays there which I guess are for disabled drivers because they're much wider you can see that green bay there is much wider than that blue bay the car has just left these high charging bays so I'll have a quick look at these so we've got CCS 175 kilowatt there Chadamo 100 kilowatt and on this one just a single CCS. So sites like this are brilliant, but they need to be larger and we need a lot more. And Swindon is a huge town, absolutely huge. So if you want people who live in towns that can't charge at home to switch to electric, then we're gonna need a lot more DC rapid charging sites so they can nip out once a week or so and charge their car quickly. Good example of a town that's got it right is Banbury, and I made a video of that, and you can watch that at the top of the screen or in the video description below. But anyway, I'm going to go now to a different part of Swindon where I'll talk about potentially another charging hub going in. So I've come round to Kemble Drive in Swindon, which is the car park for the outlet village. And this is the location of a new Tesla supercharging site. For years this site has been on the Tesla map as uh, coming soon and it was meant to be opening in Q1 of 2022 but we're now in middle of 2023 and as you can see no signs of them yet and if you look at the Tesla map now it says it's coming in Q1 of 2024. So I don't know why this site hasn't materialised yet. I don't know why it's taking so long. It might be planning, it might be issues with the landlord, the outlet village, or it might be issues with getting power to the site. But anyway, obviously no sign of it coming anytime soon. And uh, who knows whether it will be here in 2024, but it's long overdue. So Swindon's not doing very well for DC rapid chargers. They desperately need more. And this uh, Tesla supercharging location needs to get cracking and get installed as well but anyway in the video description below i'll put the numbers of rapid chargers there are in this town i'll add them up on that map so that's it for this video as always if you found it useful please do click the thumbs up button it really does help do subscribe to the channel if you're not and i'll see you on the next video